The plan was simple. Board the train. Point the guns. Get the gold. But greed has a funny way of showing up at the wrong time. Seeing all that loot is enough to make any man picture a new life for himself. Fresh start. And all it would take is another bullet. I expect this will be the last time you hear from me, so you listen good. There's a bag of money in the floor under the cradle. Go and find yourself a banker, a lawmaker, or someone good. Someone who ain't as stupid as I was. And you start over. And as for me, I'll be on that train. Yo, what's up and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that intro. We worked super hard on it. My buddy Wes, who ends up shooting me on my birthday. Today's my birthday. I'm solving puzzles for my birthday. This is the life I've chosen. We're looking at a really cool puzzle. I've been waiting for this for months, probably like three or four months. Found this on Etsy, the 775 train puzzle by looking to escape. You can follow, I'll leave the link below where you guys can check this out for yourself. And it says here, uh, with hundreds of hours of engineering time, this apparently is the world's hardest 3D printed puzzle. I don't take that lightly. I've solved a lot of 3D printed puzzles. Is this the hardest? I guess we'll find out. Definitely looks cool. That being said, right before we get into the video, as it, I know it's my birthday, but everything on First Dot Shop, 10% off with the coupon code RAMSEY10. Type in RAMSEY10 at checkout on First Dot Shop. Store wide, save 10% whether you want to pick up our latest escape game, which is really cool. A lot of really good reviews coming in. People are loving it. Uh, whether you want to check out a puzzle, whether you want to check out our new hologram holographic i'm just gonna leave that in there we got lots of stuff merch and everything else so 10 percent store wide as a bit of a gift to you and obviously well if you buy something i mean that's like a bit of a gift to me and if you can't afford that simply leave a like subscribe without any further ado we've cleared the calendar let's solve the 775 train puzzle Get it. look at this beauty apparently the most difficult 3d printed puzzle on the planet this might be a two-parter who knows go ahead and start that Stopwatch up. <sighs> here we go. Train 775. We have 775 right here. There are so many parts in this. Um, 20 steps, just a ton of parts. We'll see uh, how close we can come to solving it. Uh, lots of moving parts. I don't know what to do first. It comes with this briefcase. This briefcase also has a small clue on it, which says south, southwest, south here and west here. And that slice looks like south, southwest. It's got an X here, an X here. And it's got these little, these little sort of, I don't know what these are, but if I push this one, I notice that it slides a little bit. So this thing slides open eventually. I don't know how, I don't know why. We've just got a lot going on here. Let's have a look at this. Have a look at every part individually so that you guys have a good idea of what we're looking at as well. We have some type of cryptex here with uh, numbers that should line up in in which order. Okay, so there's, an, there's a north here on the top. So that probably has to do with this. So that'll give us some type of code here. We have this binary sequence uh, with W, so west and south. I've got these arrows here, which I don't know what that means. We've got 775 on this compartment here. We've also got east and south here on the train wheels. We've got a button here on the underside. This looks like it comes apart. There's this. I don't know what that is. Uh, here we've got some type of like bumper or something. It's got a spring. So this is spring loaded here. Sort of puzzle piece over here. What looks to be magnets on the back end. Maybe something fits in there. We got a part here. Over here on this side uh, we have... Again, more things, more things here, stuff on the wheels again. So just lots going on. Front, 775, multiple times. And we also have little binary sequence right here. And again, northwest, east, right here. So a lot of coordinates. So these seem to move these things here for some reason. <laughs> 
This is gonna be quite a journey. We got a little button here as well. I'm not sure if this does anything internally. Uh, what looks like there's like some type of track here to maybe where the wheels move in. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I think this whole thing comes apart, by the way. I don't know how it comes apart, but I think it does. Oh. Oh, the button here, but we got this. This moves down right here a little bit. Can I twist it off? Okay, not sure what that does. I <laughs> Man. So three minutes in, and we've just barely even scratched the surface of all the different things that are available here. Kind of gentle with everything. I don't want to want to damage anything. But at the same time, I do want something to give. So these three parts look like they come apart. There's a little bit of wiggle motion on each one of these carriages here. Okay. All right. All right, partner. Oh, there we go. Boom. First part lifts up. Maybe I twist it. Ah, uh, seems to be like a maze here. Okay. Oh! That just popped up. So that was stuck in there, and then it popped up. Boom. All right, looks like we got our first tool here. And we got this as well. Okay. This here says south. West, west, south. South equals or is west, west, south. So some type of um, code. And here this says east is south, south, east. Okay. South, south, east. What does that mean? What are all these coordinates for? And this one probably locked with the crypt text that's here. That one probably comes out afterwards. So we've got two. Uh, by the way, my hands are bloodstained from that intro. Uh, Food coloring doesn't wash off that easy, I found out. Let's see if we can put this anywhere, right? That would that'd be a good, oh, what about back here, dude? Check that out. And that's a no, okay, all right, all right. So we gotta figure out what the heck these coordinates are for. Let me go ahead and grab a pen just to write them down. So, so far, this is at the end of that, and this is at the end of that. I don't know what that means, but that's a pattern. Oh, here. Look at this, west is north, northeast. So we've got three of those. I'm guessing we need north, which is probably in this one here. It's the only one we're kind of missing, really. And here we have, look, south, south, west, west, east, east, north, north, and then these things. I don't know what those are. Maybe we have to add the numbers together to give us this number. Is that a possibility here? So I'm guessing what we're looking for is the north coordinates to unlock that. Does that make sense? All this in the front, and then northwest, east, Okay. Huh. Yeah, I really think the first step here is to find this. I think that's the next thing we have to do. I just, uh, and I'm guessing it has to line up to where the north is here. We have east, south. Oh, north would be here. Also notice that the wheels have these sort of slices here. Maybe it's the direction of the wheels because we do have this little thing which gives us basically, which lets us know what's going on and this as well. So if south, hold on, south, southwest. Do we have one that's south, southwest? No, south, southwest. How do I know where to put it? These definitely have to line up, these ones here. Ooh -wee. I feel a slight resistance with the wheel, so I feel like there might be something attached to them, which tells me that I need to orient it properly. Okay, what would you do right now? Right now, write down what exactly you would look at next. I'm at a loss. Um, I'm not at a loss, there's just so many options that I can explore right now. I'm just trying to figure out what the best option is before I move forward and I'm realizing that all the options look the same and they look ridiculously hard. So here we have West West, and what are these numbers for? Do we add them up? Like if this was like 110 plus 101 plus 000, that would be 211. Four numbers on this crypt text, four coordinates. That's a match, right? Four numbers, four coordinates. That's that's a match. What, what the hell do these mean? Very difficult. Very difficult indeed. I understand why this is difficult. They're kind of uh, inundating you with information right off the start. There's so much information that I have to have here. Can this open? There's got to be a way to open this because it does shift to the side a little bit. And this has to open somehow. Oh no, I broke it. I broke the handle. Okay, I don't think that handle really matters, but it's an X here, an X here. Do I push on the Xs? Or is this the last thing I have to, I don't know. Trying to shift the pieces apart, but 
I feel like I have to solve something before I can do that. These things move when I, when I push them in. Whole lot of moving parts on the inside of that, I'll tell you. Oh my God. <laughs> I need to find those numbers. Need to find these numbers. I mean, hey, there's only 9,999 combinations here. Oh, with the zeros, maybe 10,000. And did the numbers go up to 10? They do. They go up to nine. No, wait, they go up to seven and it goes to zero. One to seven, numbers from one to seven. <gasps> there are numbers behind here. I, you probably can't even see that. But there are numbers on this written right there. And the numbers are seven, hold on. Seven, seven, five, seven, seven, five. Okay, it's just repeating numbers, seven, seven, five. Oh, wait, I just pushed that in. That goes in on that side too. I need a tool to get in there and push these pins perhaps. Okay, a good old twist, random twist, maybe it'll work. It's not how, that's not how you solve puzzles, Chris. Come on, smart now. What if it's north is one, two, three. Let's try it. Five and the last one. Now what if that is the right number just in the wrong order? It says here 110 something, 100 arrows, 10. What are they trying to say? I have no idea. Oh, the wheels themselves also, oh, I see. Oh, so notice there's a W here and there's an E here. Very hard to make out, but there is a W there. Um, and that tells me maybe I put them all in that direction. I was thinking maybe now something would happen. <laughs> so I don't know about the wheels, but I just figured this out that these two pins retract into the, into the train. I can pull them down and I can pull them up. So I think if I pull them up, here, hold on. I just did that and then I think if I pull them up, yep, that goes through. Okay. Oh, I can almost press them. Maybe I have to do it upside down. Give it a little, little tap and a shake. Okay, that one's in. That one is in. So that one's all, I can, oh, I could. There we go, That I can press it all the way in now. I need to move this out of the way, find the right spot for it. There it is. Is it? No, nope, not all the way. Both these pins are in now. I'm not letting go. They are spring loaded. What does that mean? What can I do now? Can I pull the pop? Can I pull the front off? Can I move this? Can I pull the train apart? Can I pull this back? Oh, this goes in now. This goes in now. I think I just unscrewed something and it kind of happened on its own. Okay, that's locked in now. I've locked these in now, these little pins that were on the outside. And I'm sure if I move this around, they'll unlock. What have I done? Gotta be, something's gotta give here. Now, I'm afraid that the pin stuck in there for some reason that I wasn't supposed to push it in. So I'm gonna try to get it back out. I don't know. It looks like I just finished uh, recording the last six minutes in the dark, which is great. <sighs> what I ended up doing was this bottom part here. It swiveled this way by turning it upside down and I was able to pull up this whole chassis. And within this, there was this, which was stuck in here and that fell out and that's where we're at. And then I pushed that these little pins in. That's all I've done in the last six minutes. So just thought I'd give you a little heads up. Sorry about that. We got the audio though. That's always fun. This came up. There's like a cool resistance here too. See, now it's locked again. But if I flip this upside down, there we go, boom. And then that came up. And then inside, like I said, uh, there was a small compartment. Now, noticing there are little holes on the inside here that say in and out. You can't really see that, but. So that was in there. We don't know what this is for. I thought maybe like, it's the same distance as these to like push that in, but that didn't work. Don't know if it was for these that are on the inside here to make this move, but that doesn't seem to move. Oh wait. Oh, I do not think that was supposed to come off. That looks like it was glued. Oh God, okay, I'm just ruining everything. Okay, so unfortunately, what has happened is by pressing this pin in, I had a spring here and it accidentally busted off uh, one of these things. Um, this was glued on. There was a little dab of glue as you can see here and it just kind of popped off when this went like this and my spring went flying. Oh, well, we're just gonna get rid of that entirely, okay? 
This might not be the way it was intended to solve, but it's where we're at and we're not giving up yet. By pressing in these two, which I was on the right track, there goes the other spring. I was on the right track by pressing in these two things. So, you know what? We had it, we solved it, okay? Whatever you wanna say. It's gonna be a lot harder to do that with no counterweight here. Okay, so we were here and then I'm guessing something is supposed to happen. When I push these on, they're, they're, they're going upwards because there's nothing stopping it from going up where those plates were. There used to be plates there stopping it like this. And again, this is not normal solve, okay? This is something that is not normal. Something that unfortunately happens with 3D printed puzzles sometimes, which is unfortunate, but it's something we have to live with. So we will make do. And now I'm just trying to figure out what the orientation on this was. Again, very sorry about this, but we'll get there. So this, there we go. Not the way it was intended to be solved, but... This is how we're going to solve it. So this then comes out. Oh, and then we have the north, northwest on this side. Okay. Again, very sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually a thousand dollar puzzle, which I've just kind of broken. So I kind of feel sorry for myself, honestly, but we're going to carry along as I do want to see where the story leads us. North is north, north, west. That is the final code here. We have all four of these codes, which not entirely sure what they're for just yet, but that does come out. That is a cool, that is a cool contraption if it works. The problem is that when applying pressure, these little rods, here's the problem in the manufacturing. Honestly, this isn't a problem that uh, you're supposed to push on them. But what happened was this would go over the rod and uh, if the rod wasn't in a perfect spot, so the rod's gotta be in a perfect spot so that the, uh, this pin can go over it, but if the rod was a little up or a little down, sorry, it would create a wedge, which would then even push through, push upwards as well, thus popping the panel off. And so that's nothing we could really overcome. It's something we had to do in order to solve the puzzle. We had to actually do what I just did. That being said, that, me that mechanism is really cool on the inside, it just locks in there. And then we have this, okay. Oh, hold on. <gasps> That sticks, there are magnets here on the X. There's an X magnet and there's a magnet here. What if there's like a magnet lock? Just figured this is probably where this goes. Oh yeah, look at that. Fits right there, nice and neat. So that's where that, and that's probably what the magnets are for because there are magnets back here. I was wondering what those are for right here. Oh, what if this key, oh, look how this fits. It fits nicely in there. And these little things have little holes on the top of them so you can hook and push and pull them back. Oh, there we go. Okay, that lifts up now. Okay, now that that lifts up, okay, we're getting somewhere. So that lifted up. There was like locking mechanisms on here, which I had to undo using these. And then here we have this, but this won't come out. Maybe I gotta push, it doesn't come out. That feels like it might be the last little compartment or something, because I can't pull that out. And I'm guessing I gotta push on this to like, help release it that that would be don't want to break it <laughs> been there so we got that we also know that there is a magnet uh in here seems like a screw there's probably some metal parts around here but uh we know that this magnet has something to do with something there is something in here how is this thing so hard to open how am i supposed to open it later like what kind of tool are they going to give me just maybe another magnet where i put one there and i put one there and then it pries apart that Seems like maybe it will work. I'd like to know what this bottom spring is attached to. We're still looking to find the coordinates for this, and I still don't know what exactly I'm looking for for the coordinates. So these have any like do these markings have anything to do with anything? There's like a V, there's like that, and there's that, which I don't know what good that'll do. That wants to come apart, but there's something stopping it on the wheels. So notice that we had these markings that were here. Like this one says east. Oh, I guess we see it from underneath. I don't know if they're backwards because they're kind of hard to read here. Like that's almost impossible to read. But if you look at this side, clearly it has an N. So is it that they have to be upside down to follow this pattern? South, southwest. South, southwest needs to be down. It's that, right? Well, that's north, west. Yeah, this is inside out. It should be this way, right? Because you can't have north, east, southwest. It has to be 
or sorry, northeast, southwest. It has to be northwest, southeast. So these are backwards. These are inside out. Okay, that might help us a little bit. That's the case. South, southwest has to be down, which is like that. So south has to be like that on all of them. All the wheels are facing this diagram. Wait, no. Um, all of them are face downwards. All of these things here, that is what the diagram is showing us. It shows us putting them in that orientation, just like the briefcase shows us, puts them basically straight. Okay, maybe this has to go back down in order for me to retract that middle piece. That's, that might actually be it. No. Uh, let's get that back down. Birthday messages, so I didn't have my clock in there somehow. I don't know how that's locked in there. I guess it has something to do with this guy over here. Once I find this code, I think everything's gonna be easy. If I pry any harder, I'm gonna end up breaking this too. Coming in just over an hour. Still have yet to solve this in this code that we've written down. <laughs> oh man. And the briefcase. I'm guessing the loot's in the briefcase and they're probably gonna give us like a little magnet at the end or something to, to find the loot. <sighs> Oh, I feel like this came out a bit. Okay, that came out a little bit more than it used to. It has something to do with gravity. Now this pin won't push in. <gasps> no, it came out. There's something in this drawer, listen. I could feel it banging up against here. Now, I don't want to push this in because I don't know how, and now it won't even push back in. Ah, now the drawer's closed and I can't get it open again. It might've been a fluke but this something's holding this drawer closed. And a second ago, maybe when it was laying on its side. I got it back open again. I don't know what it's open for. I don't know how it opened and I don't know why it's opened. Part of the train this effects, if any, I don't know if it was supposed to slide. There's absolutely no feedback on this puzzle, which makes it very difficult. One of the hard parts about this puzzle is that there's just no order. You know, although it is a sequential discovery, giving you tools, there's just no order in which to do things. So I'm, I'm discovering things all the time, but then I don't know what to do with that information. So we're gonna leave that open. I don't know what for. There's something in that drawer. So this is definitely, might even be the last piece here that I have to pull out, but I definitely need to get this figured out first. Spent long enough on this for now. Right now my brain's fried. I'm kind of running around in circles and I'm getting frustrated as a result. Pieces are breaking this here. So we do need to take a step back, reassess. Maybe, maybe I'll get some aha moment. That'll just hit me in the face. Um, but for now, yeah, for now we're gonna leave it be. Oh, I hate doing this. Hold on, just looking around at it and I noticed this and this, okay? I don't know if this will do anything, but at least it'll give us maybe some leeway. What we have here is the wheels, okay. These wheels, north, west, south, and east. South, southwest would be at the bottom, okay? So therefore the south, let's, let's look at the, uh, the north wheel should be north, northwest should be the slice at the bottom. North, northwest should be the slice at the bottom. Here, hold on, you have east, what are we looking for? This is the north wheel. That locked in again, didn't it? Yeah, okay. North, n north, northwest. Okay. There's the north. There's the west. North, northwest would be there. So that has to be there. This is so devious. If, if, if anything happens at this point, I'll be very happy. So you see the N here, it's hard to see. And that's a west and it actually kind of locks into place right there. So I'm gonna keep that right there. The Western wheel. I say we bring this back down for now. So you see what's going on. This is the Western wheel, north, northeast. We have north, northeast and it locks there. It is also locked right there like that. Now we flip it, try not to change the wheels. Which one's which now? This is east. East, we have south, southeast. South, southeast. So it should be right there. And then finally we have south, which is west, 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 south, which is there. I'm not sure what that's going to unlock, however. Okay, I definitely figured out the orientation for this. That needs to be oriented in that perfect way. What reason though? I don't know what to do. Okay, I had that epiphany, which I think helped me out, but again, here we are with, uh, I just don't know where to go from here. Hold on. Oh, 
Oh, you son of a gun. There are these holes here, these tiny holes, okay? Almost invisible to the naked eye. In those holes, when this is set to a correct position, it reveals another number. Uh, <laughs> this is getting more and more devious. Now I gotta double check to make sure everything is correct. Incredibly difficult to read because they're 3D printed and all mushed up, dude. One, zero, zero. Uh, west and north, west and north. West is north, northeast, which is there. North, one, one, one. Okay. Do any of these match up to any of these somehow? Zero, one, one matches up with east here. Are these numbers? Zero, zero, one would match up with this one. That's that, that's that, that's that. What does that number represent? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, they all have different numbers. Okay. One, one, zero. One, zero, zero is the arrows back and forth. Okay. We still had stuff here. Let's look for other possible symbols that are laying around here because that definitely, you know, that might look like that, maybe. There's that. Is that one of them? Is it in the order in which it was solved? In which the steps were done? Because I did the steps kind of erratically, I feel. Also, there's something back here that we haven't gotten to yet. How would I know, like, do I do I start, is, do I start here? Or do I start up here with the numbers? Another good question. Does that make any sense? A V for five, maybe? I gotta open this toolbox. And that's what I gotta do right now because this seems a little too strange that I can't open this. You can hear something. There we go. Uh, precisely what it was. Oh, hello. And we have another cipher. What is this? Uh -huh. That's what that was. Okay, that makes way more sense now. So it's a, it's a mini flashlight to look inside these holes, which we don't need because we use the iPhone light, but very smart. Wow. And then these ciphers give us the numbers. So here we go. We should have three, four, one, seven. Three, four, one, seven. Let's go. Oh, it's not in the right order. Check this out, back here. Oh my God, that's hard to see. That is tough to see. Let's see if we can get in there. There's something written there. It looks like it says north, south, west, east. Yeah, west, south, northeast. West, south, west, south, northeast is what it says. Ah! So the only, the only thing that I think could have gone wrong is I have the wrong numbers. These are the wrong numbers. And I'm just gonna double check. This is really getting on, on my uh, wits end here. Also, this thing's broken still. Unless the wedge that is shown here needs to be there. You understand? It would have to be like this. The wedges legit have to stay at the bottom for sure, for sure, for sure. So let's start again. All right, gang, in all transparency, I did reach out to the creator uh, just now. We've been talking back and forth because I've been stuck on this problem for way too long and I feel like I have got the solution. And it turns out I did get the solution correct. However, the numbers are incorrect. And the reason for that is actually in the manufacturing. So not my, I could have been on this forever. So I'm very glad I reached out. And sometimes these things happen, especially with uh, 3D printed things. And like I said, like things are loose here. Um, so inside these wheels here, two of them are misaligned to where they're giving me the wrong numbers. 011 one equals three equals E is correct. This one is correct. However, West is actually two and South is actually, and South is actually five. Um, so those are the correct numbers, not these here. Okay, so now that we have that, east, north, southwest should be 3752, 3752. That's the code. Ah! 
Got it. This looks awfully familiar. There we go. Turning. Inserted the key. And when I when I insert the key, this thing's about to break off by the way, but when I insert the key, it rolls something around. Look, the key kind of rolls on its own. It is just about breaking off. So I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> We're at the end of the puzzle. You know, I've already busted bits and pieces of it, but what an adventure this has been. Oh my God. Now, if we can just get this to get in there and open the drawer, there's nothing happening. There's nothing happening. I thought we had it. I thought we were at the end of this thing. Didn't do anything. Turns. And then nothing. Oh. Hold on. There are some ball bearings that are here. Earlier what I probably did was I tilted the ball bearings out of the way, which allowed it to go partially open. So right now, I'm hearing these ball bearings. There's a lock here. You can, when I lift it, it drops. Ah, part of it's out. We've got part of it out. <sighs> is this another cipher? Is this another puzzle? This is a last cipher. Using all of these, probably all of these, using the symbols here, there's a ball bearing. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've come so far, two and a half hours. We've come so far to get to this point. Um, I'll be honest, I do not have it in me right now. There's another symbol here. One, one, one. But how do I know which ones are first? How do I know which ones are first? I don't know if I'll be able to figure this out. My brain, <laughs> you have to understand, my brain's completely fried at this point. More cipher, and I it is beyond me right now. If you guys wanna try and figure it out, I mean, here, take a screenshot of this, take a screenshot of that, and take a screenshot of that. If you think you know what the combination to this is, because <laughs> I am absolutely beat. That's it for this video. It's my birthday and it's like supper time. I'm gonna go enjoy dinner right now. Uh, what an adventure though, I'll be honest, super frustrating, but also really genius. I, It sucks that there were some parts that were actually design flaws, which kept me from moving forward, which did cost me probably at least an hour of my time. However, uh, that being said, and you know, I mean, okay, let me, let me, be, let me be quite frank here. The fact that it's 3D printed, um, makes it cool because you can do it yourself. But I mean, this piece broke off and I didn't even force that hard. It was like at a joint. Uh, and this here also, when that popped off, those are things that I couldn't, like anybody would have done that, not just me. And I'm, I really mean that. Um, I would love to see this done in wood, in metal, plastic, like properly, uh, not just 3D printed. As a prototype for an idea, for a puzzle, this is absolutely genius. I think this is, you know, obviously this took months and months and months of work. So shout out to the creator of this puzzle. I mean, that is just a feat in itself. I really, really, really think this is a dope idea for a puzzle. And so many pieces went into this so much time. So my respect to him, but respectfully, uh, you know, uh, because 3D printed, it will be a little flimsy and things like that might happen. And for a thousand dollars, you know, you don't want things like that to happen. But as far as the puzzle goes, and as far as the actual intricacy of all the clues and everything else, 10 on 10, 10 on 10. I hope this guy keeps making puzzles because this this one definitely deserves, uh, it deserves its own video, even though we busted it. Uh, still really dope. Let me know what you guys thought about the puzzle. Well, hot dang. That is uh, the 775 train puzzle. Solved. I said what I had to say. 
fun puzzle. You know? I'm exhausted. My brain's melted. I just want to go to bed. Okay? Uh, that being said, would really appreciate it if you left a like, subscribe, check out the other videos, all that stuff. Guys, thank you so much for your continued support. Another year in the books. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.